This is SAT test 2, calculator section, question 19. They describe a survey of two schools and ask for the median number of siblings among all the students surveyed. The median number is the middle number from all of the students who were surveyed. And College Board often asks about either the mean or the median. The mean, we would add up how many siblings they all have and then divide by the number of students. Here we're looking for the middle number. Since there are 300 students from each of two schools, that's a total of 600. So there should be about 600 students with fewer siblings and about 600 students with more siblings if you write all the numbers in order. So one way to do this is take the total. 120 plus 140 is 260. 80 plus 110 is 190. 30 plus 60 is 90, 30 plus 10 is 40, and 10 plus 10 is 20. The median number should have actually 300 values below, 300 values above. It's midway between the two middle numbers. So if I total these numbers, 190 plus 40 is 130 plus 20 is 150. So the median can't be here because I won't have 300 values less. The median can't be zero because I won't have three values. I'm sorry, I won't have, here I won't have 300 values more than the median if the median were two. If the median were zero, I don't have 300 values less than even the last zero on the list if I list them in order. So the median has to be in the middle because 260 plus 190 is 350. So the 300th value is one. And 150 plus one, 190 is 340. So the 300th value from the largest is also 1. So median equals 1. If you have trouble finding the median, you can also put these into stat, edit, and then you'll come up with list 1 and list 2. And for list 1, you can put the number of siblings. And for list two, the frequency. How many total have zero siblings? And then if you use stat calculate one variable statistics, Your graphing calculator will give you the median number from this list if you put either L1 comma L2 for the older operating systems or values list 1, frequency list, list 2, and you enter L1 and L2 as second 1, press the second key and then number 1 or second and then 2 for list 2. And that way the calculator will calculate your median from a table of values that gives frequencies. Again, College Board often asks for mean or median, and the graphing calculator will give you both. It's almost always a calculator question. Or you can find it by hand if you remember that the median is the middle number when they're in order from smallest to largest. And so out of 600 numbers, there will be 300 above the median, 300 below the median in this case, which puts the median at 1. Come back soon with my next math video. With math, there's always more.